I'm headed uh, down to Lindenville. Uh, I just got a uh, call for the truck driver who's bringing a shipment of coffee. I got a thousand pounds of coffee coming in. And uh, I guess, I'm hoping it's not too bad. Uh, he said, oh, you probably should come down because it looks like one of the uh, bags got torn and you might want to put a claim in. It's like, yeah one of the bags, I mean, these bags, depending on which one it is, you know, they could be looking at six, seven hundred dollars plus the shipping. So it's not like, oh, well, the problem is, you know, you put a claim in on it and uh, then if you could replace it, then you go to replace it. You're not going to get the same amount of shipping because the way shipping works is that it's pretty much, you know, it varies a little, but it's pretty much the same price for a pallet of say 10 bags of coffee on it as it is for a pallet with a bag of coffee on it so in this particular case this is like 270 dollars for shipping uh, i'm not going to replace that bag of coffee for an additional shipping charge of 270 dollars so i don't know how this is going to work but anyway we'll go down there meet with him and uh Then we'll, uh, I gotta drop some coffee off at uh, one of the places uh, contacted me and said, okay, well, we're out of uh, ground coffee, which, you know, I'm not a big fan of selling ground coffee, but, you know, I realize people don't all have grinders. That's how that all goes. So I've gotta bring that coffee, then I gotta come back and, uh, I just got a five pound order for another coffee, so I've got some of that, but I'll have to have to roast that up. So farmers markets are pretty much done. Um, I don't know what the fall and winter, of course, are gonna be like. Um, the shipping thing is a problem, uh, you know, and I'm having to spend thousands of dollars bringing coffee in. Hopefully that gamble pays off. Uh, so far, so good. I mean, I went to a coffee shop this morning that's uh, going to be opening up and uh, talked to them. Uh, uh, that, uh, that's going to be a tough one. That's kind of hard to even talk about. I'm not sure how prepared they are. And I think they're in a position to do some great business. So I'm really not sure they're prepared for what potentially is coming so because uh, I think they're I think where they are they'll do really well really well I don't know about everywhere else but uh, here we are it's the 12th of October uh, today right now it's 69 degrees out it's really been a really weird summer fall I don't know if it's just all of a sudden gonna snap and go <laughs> freezing cold uh, snow comes and all that kind of stuff I really don't know uh, I'm hoping that even later today I might be able to get out and get a ride on a motorcycle uh, because you know there's only so many days we're gonna have left that uh, you could do that and the way it's been so bizarrely warm I just don't get it you know uh, maybe this is just a weird year or maybe this is the foretelling of years to come. I, I really don't know. But I mean, you know, 70 degrees in mid-October for up here? Yeah, as a strange thing, sure. But as more of a regular thing, that would be off. No coffee, which, uh, given the alternative, I'm grateful for. So what happened was, the guy calls me and he tells me that the coffee has gotten a little hole in the back and I should come down because I'll have to put a, a claim in for the coffee and I'm thinking oh my god you know one person's idea of a little hole in somebody else's right totally different so uh, I go down there and he didn't want to move the pallet so it's all the way in the front of the tractor trailer I get in there and I can see as I'm getting up there it's like oh god it's not a little hole there's tons of the beans are everywhere. 
And so he says, well, this is your coffee. And I said, well, this isn't my coffee. I don't think because I had a thousand pounds of coffee. This isn't a thousand pounds of coffee. So he starts looking at the tags on top of it. And um, lo and behold, it's not my coffee. It's somebody else's coffee. And somebody with a forklift speared it pretty good and uh, just put it in and went about their business. And somebody's gonna be very unhappy. But right now, that's not me. So hopefully tomorrow he'll have that, uh, that coffee uh, and uh, it won't have any issues and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it does happen, but uh, hopefully it doesn't happen tomorrow, you know. Well, foliage here in this part of Vermont is just about done, not done, but it's past its peak. There'll be a little bit more, but nothing too great anyway. It's, uh, it's been finished for now. There's still, you know, there's some oranges and some yellows and greens, but the real good performance is pretty much over for now. Usually what happens is that uh, after this, at some point, we get a real rainy, windy, blows all the leaves off the tree. Again, we gonna get that this year? No idea. I'm really hoping today the coffee comes in. I haven't heard anything. And I'm hoping it comes in today, one, and two comes in today undamaged. So both are yet to be seen. I don't know. I just spread uh, some manure in the uh, garlic garden. So that one's pretty much set. I'm going to talk to my neighbor about uh, getting that rototilled and uh, then probably later this week Next week, I will. Um, I've got to oh, look into the straw too.
probably be one of the last times to go for a ride. I mean, well, there'll be others. There'll be other times, I'm sure. But for now, this is how it goes. Beautiful day. I'm out for a ride. Um, came over to East Haven to Dirt Church Brewer. And some people I know run this. And uh, I don't drink, so I, I don't even think they're open, to be honest. But anyway, nice day for a ride. just went hiding in the house. <laughs> <laughs> 